Imagine a childhood virus hiding in your body for decades, just waiting to attack again. Except when it does reappear, it comes back as something far more painful, unpredictable, and dangerous than you'd ever expect. Many people mistake this for a harmless rash until it becomes painful. And for some, the pain never goes away. What most people don't realize is that this condition can strike more than once, leaving behind complications that range from months of burning nerve pain to vision problems and even an increased risk of stroke. This is a condition that affects one in three adults over 50, and most people don't even realize that they're at risk. Do you know what I'm talking about? That's right, I'm talking about shingles. And in this video, we'll expose the biggest myths about shingles, reveal the lesser known facts you need to know, and show you how to protect yourself before this happens to you or someone you love. If you're new here, my name is Lindsay Dixon. I'm a registered pharmacist with over 14 years in clinical practice, and my mission is to make health information and evidence-based science more accessible so you can feel educated, confident, and empowered when it comes to your health. Now, here's a challenge for you. As you watch this video, keep track of what you think you know about shingles, because later in this video, we're going to put those beliefs to the test with a myth or fact quiz, and trust me, you will be surprised at how many common facts about shingles actually turn out to be myths. Now, before we dive in, I want you to know that everything in this video is based on evidence, and I have no financial ties to any of the preventative treatments that we'll cover. I'm sharing this story because I've seen the toll that shingles can take, both the sudden painful infection and the long-term complications that follow. The hardest part is knowing that so much of this suffering doesn't have to happen. And that's why today I'll show you practical, proven ways to protect yourself, and in many cases, prevent this infection from happening in the first place. So what is shingles? Shingles, also called herpes zoster, is caused by the varicella zoster virus, the same virus that causes chickenpox. After you recover from chickenpox, the virus doesn't disappear or go away. It actually hides in your nerve cells, sometimes for decades waiting for the right moment to reappear. Now, usually that moment comes when your immune system weakens from aging, illness, stress, or even infection like the flu. That's why shingles is far more common after the age of 50. As I mentioned earlier, about one in three adults over 50 will get shingles in their lifetime, with 130,000 new cases each year in Canada and 1 million cases each year in the United States. Shingles often begins with tingling, burning, or pain on the skin, symptoms that are often easy to mistake for something else. And soon after, a rash appears, typically along a single nerve pathway on one side of the body. Now, the rash can be very painful, progressing into fluid-filled blisters that can crust over before healing, which usually happens within about two to four weeks. Now, a quick but important note. If shingles is caught early and treated with antiviral medication, the severity and progression of the infection can often be drastically reduced. In fact, in several provinces across Canada, including right here in British Columbia, pharmacists are now able to assess and even prescribe for antiviral treatment for people who believe they may be experiencing a case of shingles. So, if you suspect you might be coming down with shingles, don't wait. Reach out promptly to your pharmacist or healthcare provider for a proper assessment and possible treatment. So here's the challenge. Once the infection occurs, for some people, the pain that a shingles infection causes doesn't go away. This lingering nerve pain is called post-herpetic neuralgia, and it's one of the most common complications of a shingles infection. It can be extremely painful, and in some cases it can last for months or even years. Now you might think, this is just a rash. How bad can it be? The truth is that shingles can cause serious complications. So in addition to post-herpetic neuralgia, shingles can also impact other parts of the body, one of which is when the virus attacks the eye. Now this is known as ophthalmic shingles, which can be very painful and can damage the eye and even in some cases cause blindness. 
Now, recent studies show that shingles also increases the risk of stroke and heart attack, especially in the months after an outbreak. A 2021 meta-analysis of almost 8 million patients showed up to a 40% increased risk of cerebrovascular events in the year after a shingles infection. So clearly shingles is much more than a rash. Now, a common question I tend to hear is, I've never had chickenpox, so I can't get shingles, right? Wrong, that's actually a myth. Almost everyone born before 1980 has been exposed to the chickenpox virus, even if they don't remember having it. In fact, over 99% of adults over 50 carry the virus. So yes, you may still be at risk for shingles, and you likely are. Now let's talk about prevention. So if almost everyone carries the virus, the real question becomes, what can you actually do to lower your chances of shingles showing up in the first place? Now, when it comes to preventing infections like shingles, healthy lifestyle choices can go a long way in supporting your immune system. Regular exercise, a balanced diet, high quality sleep, and effective stress management all help your body fight off infections, including shingles. But even with the best habits, our immune defenses naturally decline with age through a process called immunosenescence. This gradual weakening of the immune system makes it harder to keep the varicella zoster virus under control. At the same time, chronic conditions like diabetes, heart disease, and kidney problems, which become more common as we get older, further increase our vulnerability to infection and complications. This is why the risk of shingles climbs so sharply after the age of 50. Now, the most reliable way to protect yourself isn't only based on lifestyle, but in combining healthy habits with vaccination via the shingles vaccine, which provides strong, long-lasting protection against both shingles infection and its most serious complications. Again, this video is not sponsored. So how does a vaccine work to stop a virus that's been hiding in your nerves for decades? Let's find out. And don't forget, we've got a quick myth versus facts quiz coming up later in this video to test what you've learned. The shingles vaccine that I'll be discussing with you today is called Shingrix. It was approved by both the FDA and Health Canada in 2017. Now, this is important. Shingrix is not a live vaccine, which means it's safe even for people who are immunocompromised. This vaccine uses a single protein from the virus known as glycoprotein E, combined with an adjuvant, which is designed to help your immune system recognize the virus when it appears in circulation and thus build stronger immunity against possible infection. Together, these components essentially train your body's defenses so that if the virus ever tries to attack again, your immune system is ready to stop it in its tracks before it can cause an infection. So here's what that looks like at the cellular level. The vaccine stimulates both arms of your immune system both your B cells, which reduce antibodies, and your T cells, which attack infected cells. This dual response is why the vaccine is so effective. It reduces your risk of shingles infection, and it also lowers the chance of possible long-term complications caused by infection. Now, in terms of side effects, side effects caused by the vaccine are usually very mild and short-lived. We see things like arm soreness, fatigue, headache, or muscle aches. Anecdotally, I usually see that the second dose causes slightly more side effects than the first, but this is actually a very good sign. This is a sign that your immune system is recognizing the vaccine and gearing up to protect you in the future, creating something called immune memory. Now, for those interested in the numbers, here's what the clinical trial data reveal about the efficacy of this vaccine. In the ZOE50 trial, Shingrix was reported to be 97% effective at preventing shingles in adults over 50. In the ZOE70 trial, which focused on adults over 70, the vaccine maintained an efficacy of 91%. And longer term follow up, so the ZOE LTFU study, indicated that protection can actually last up to 10 years with efficacy remaining above 80%. These results are significant in understanding both the short and long term effectiveness of Shingrix. This includes its impact on reducing long-term complications of infection. So, can you still get shingles after being fully vaccinated? Now that we've covered how the shingles vaccine works, let's tackle a few of the most common questions people tend to ask us at the pharmacy. 
Can I get shingles after being fully vaccinated? Yes, it is still possible. But as we discussed earlier, the research is very clear that your risk is significantly lower with up to 97% protection in adults over 50. And here's the good news. If you do develop shingles after being vaccinated, it's likely to be much milder and far less likely to lead to serious complications thanks to the faster response time of the immune system, otherwise known as immune memory, that is induced by vaccination. Can the shingles vaccine reduce dementia risk? Some recent studies suggest that there may be a link between shingles vaccination and lower dementia rates, but the research is still fairly early and we don't have enough evidence yet to say for certain. But the research is definitely looking like this might be the case. How many shots do I need? The Shingrix series requires two doses, given two to six months apart to provide the best protection. But what if you miss your second dose? Ideally, you want to stick to the vaccination schedule. However, if for some reason you miss your second dose, you forget or you're traveling, don't worry, you don't have to start over. Just get the second dose as soon as you can, even if it's been longer than six months since your first. If you're going to be traveling and are worried that you might miss that window for your second dose, ask your pharmacist or healthcare provider, and they can advise when is the best time for you based on your particular circumstances. Another common question is, does the shingles vaccine help with cold sores? Unfortunately not. Cold sores are caused by a different virus called the herpes simplex virus, not the varicella zoster virus that causes shingles. But again, pharmacists in many provinces in Canada can also assess and prescribe for cold sores in case you didn't know. And the earlier the treatment, the better. So keep that in mind for future. Finally, can I get the shingles vaccine with other vaccines? Yes, Shingrix can be safely given alongside other common vaccines, including the flu shot, pneumonia shot, and other routine vaccines. All right, it's quiz time. I'm going to read for you a few of the most common things that people believe about shingles. Your job is to decide, is this a myth or is it a fact? And let's see how many you get right. Number one, I've already had shingles, so I don't need the vaccine. False, this is a myth. Recurrence happens at up to 10% of people. Now, vaccination still lowers your risk significantly, though it's generally recommended that you wait about a year after having a case of shingles before getting vaccinated. There are some exceptions to this, so when in doubt, ask your healthcare provider what timeline is best for you. Number two, the vaccine can give you shingles. False, this is also a myth. Vaccination cannot give you the infection that it's protecting you against. The vaccine only provides your body with a protein that is unique to the virus, allowing your body to recognize it in the future. Next, you have to wait for the rash to start treatment. This is a myth. Antiviral medication is most effective when started within 72 hours of symptoms such as pain or tingling. And remember, in some provinces, pharmacists can prescribe antivirals right at the first sign of infection. Number four, everyone with shingles gets the typical rash. False, this is a myth, it's not true. Some people only feel pain with no rash at all. Number five, I've never had chicken pox, so I'm safe. I hope you get this one right, because it's a myth. As we discussed earlier, 99% of people born before 1980 carry the virus. People who cannot remember being infected usually either had a mild infection or were exposed to the virus without presenting typical symptoms. So how did you do on the quiz? Did a few of those questions catch you off guard? If so, you're not alone. And it shows why learning the facts about shingles is so important. The fact is that shingles isn't rare at all and it's not just a rash. It can cause serious lasting complications that affect your quality of life. The good news is that prevention is key and we have both preventative treatments and a vaccine that's highly effective, long lasting and safe even if you've had shingles before. If you're over 50 or if you're younger and living with a weakened immune system, it's worth having a conversation with your pharmacist about how you can best protect yourself from shingles in the future. Because the steps you take today could spare you years of pain tomorrow. Tell me, did you learn something new about shingles today? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like, subscribe, and share it with someone you think could benefit. 
Thank you so much for joining me today. Take care and stay healthy. Bye-bye.